on today's menu. This incredible recipe is super delightful. Vegan Supa Toscana. Two shallots, finely chopped. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. About four cups worth of chopped potatoes. Blender. One cup cashews. One cup water. Generous pinch of pink salt. Blend on high until emulsified. If you don't have a high power blender, soak the cashews overnight to soften them up. Set aside. Stock pot. Medium high heat. Generous drizzle of olive oil. Shallots and garlic. Season with salt and pepper. In this episode, we're using field roast plant-based Italian sausage. Break down the sausage and saute for five to seven minutes. Two tablespoons dried oregano. Potatoes. Three liters of water or vegetable stock. If you're using water, add a tablespoon and a half of pink salt. Cream. Stir. Cover the pot, leaving a little bit of space. Depending on the type of vegetable stock you're using, the saltiness will vary greatly, so make sure you're always tasting and adjusting if needed. When it comes to a boil, simmer on medium for 5 to 8 minutes. Now it won't be a Zupa Toscana without your most amazing fresh kale. I prefer to put little pieces of kale in the serving bowl and just pouring the hot soup over it so this way it still keeps its nice crunchy freshness. If you put it in the pot and boil it, then you just get this really overcooked wilted kale. Plate. Olive oil. Pepper. You can now make this delicious soup with absolute confidence. A stupendous recipe that's easy and delicious. Vegan Moroccan chickpea stew. Three red onions diced. Five pieces of garlic, finely chopped. One large sweet potato, cubed. Stock pot, medium heat, three tablespoons olive oil, onions and garlic, two teaspoons cumin seeds, one teaspoon chili powder, generous tablespoon sweet paprika, one tablespoon cinnamon, stir. Few sprigs, fresh thyme. 
sweet potato, two cans chickpeas. One 800 ml can San Marzano tomatoes. Crush the tomatoes to release its juices. Pour in two cans worth of water. Three teaspoons pink salt. Turn up the heat and bring to a boil, then simmer on medium for 15 minutes. Alright, so this looks like a lot of collard greens, two big bunches, but trust me, it basically just disintegrates when you put it into that hot soup. Just roll it all up like a giant green burrito. Then Right, so I've received some questions on if I get paid by Zwilling, the German knife company, for using a lot of the products, and sadly, I do not. Maybe one day, but in the meantime, how this small cooking show generates revenue is through the ebook or the print book version of this vegan ramen cookbook that I published not too long ago. And you can get your copy in the link above or a link in the description box below. Shameless plug over, let's check out that amazing soup. Greens. Now this part is optional, but I really enjoy these. This is about a quarter cup of sweet dried raisins. Transfer three cups of soup into the blender and blend on medium high. Pour the blend back into the soup, give it a good stir, and it's done. Plate, parsley, you can now make this easy and delicious recipe with absolute confidence. That is so incredibly easy to make. My gosh, that is restaurant quality right there. Mmm. That tastes like a party I would like to attend. That is really incredible. I mean, just packed with flavor from all those spices. The chickpeas gives it that nice texture. You get some of the greens from the colored greens and just has that beautiful tomato base. Just adds it, adds so much flavor and body. That is really, really incredible. A delicious recipe you can make if you're not in a curry. Delicious vegan curry noodle soup. Remove the seeds from 10 dried red Thai chili peppers. Definitely keep those seeds. Sprinkle them on top of your next pizza. Small saucepan. One cup water. Cover and bring to a boil for a few minutes. Blunder. One shallot. Two pieces garlic. Small piece galangal. One stick lemongrass.
purple peels of lime. Lime juice. Remove four kaffir lime leaves from its branch and add them to the blender. Small bunch cilantro stems. One tablespoon red miso. One teaspoon pink salt. Transfer the rehydrated peppers to the blender. So this part is a little bit non-traditional. We're gonna add a little bit of water just to help the blender blend up that amazing paste. But not to worry, we're gonna evaporate and cook out a little bit of that water before we actually make the soup. Pulse the blender to get it going, then blend on medium-high. I mean, that just smells absolutely amazing. It's so aromatic to make your own chili paste. Now, if you have your own chili paste on hand or a store-bought one, that is completely fine. You can skip this entire step. Bring a pot of water to boil for the noodles. So these are my signature cashew ramen eggs. We're gonna scoop a little bit of that cashew egg white and fill it with a runny yolk-like turmeric and cashew filling. I've filmed the previous episode showing you step-by-step -step how to make these amazing ramen eggs. And I'll leave that link in the description box below. Udon noodles. Hook the noodles to package instructions and stir them occasionally. Heat up another pot on medium. One tablespoon coconut oil. Two tablespoons chili paste. One tablespoon curry powder. Stir. Two cups veggie stock, half cup coconut milk, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon cane sugar. Turn up the heat and stir. A handful shimeji mushrooms. Small bunch canned bamboo, two baby corn, two fried tofu puffs. When it comes to a boil, simmer on medium for five minutes. Taste and adjust the seasoning if needed. Bowl, noodles. Pour in that amazing curry soup. Cashew egg. Sprinkle with fresh chopped cilantro. Squeeze a fresh lime juice. You can now make this tasty curry noodle soup with absolute confidence. That really is a crazy comforting bowl of soup. that is so packed with flavor. It's just so aromatic because there's just so many fresh ingredients that go into that amazing chili paste. Mm. That is really delicious. And these amazing tofu puffs, a little bit nostalgic actually. 
used to love eating these when I was a kid. And that amazing rum and egg really tastes like egg. And the, the flavor is just so intense. And that nice coconut milk just really kind of thickens it and lifts up the body of that stock. An incredible soup that really puts the yum in Tom Yum. Easy Tom Yum soup. We start off with just peeling the outer layer of that amazing lemongrass and just use the back of the knife. And that basically just releases all that incredible aroma. Slice the lemongrass in half and set aside. One medium piece, galangal. Six kaffir lime leaves. If you like it really fiery, add some red Thai chilies. If not, just leave them out. Fill a stock pot with three liters of water. Galangal and lemongrass. Lime leaves and chili. Add the bottom half of the green onion to the stock. Cover the pot and bring to a boil. Let the stock cook for 25 to 30 minutes. Remove the solid ingredients. One red pepper, roughly chopped. One green pepper, roughly chopped. peppers, generous handful of mushrooms, half red onion roughly chopped, one tomato roughly chopped, one can baby corn, three tablespoons red chili paste, one half tablespoon pink salt, Two tablespoon cane sugar. This is a incredible tamarind paste I made in a previous episode. Two tablespoon tamarind paste. Juice from one lime. Half cup canned coconut milk. Stir. Garnish with fresh green onions. You can now make this incredible tom yum soup with absolute confidence. <laughs>